It's one of the most hate-filled rivalries in all of college football, and this year it's a clash of coaching titans. Amy, are the Rams for real? Go. Oh, I have seen this Jeff Fisher movie before. <laughs> he wins the big ones, and he struggles against terrible teams that are constantly teasing their fans. We are primed for a very exciting finals matchup here for UCF. Keep an eye on Zach Daughtry. Dwayne Wade's got nothing on you with that pink and blue tie right now. <laughs> swipe right on that. <laughs> I'll swipe right on that tie. All right, so been the MLB trade deadline just 18 days away. All I need to do is point out the rest of the NFC South. Who's going to take this? The two and three Bucks, the one and three Saints, or the one and three Panthers? Matty Ice has a lot of weapons to throw to. I'm here with Herschel Walker, the man himself. Now, sir, you watch a lot of football games. You stand on the sidelines of many of these games, but this one's special for you because your nephew, Mike, Richard is out there. What does this mean to you to see him on this field? Heaven forbid he gets the, any rookies. Yeah, they're going to have a long day, man. Yeah, how do you like that blazer, by the way? Interesting explanation there. Kim's been in the league five years. It's not like it's his first rodeo. MLB trade deadline 2016 is in the books, and joining me now to break it all down is Ben Walker of the Associated Press. So you were the last undisputed world heavyweight champion. Looking at the current state of the heavyweight division, what's been the biggest change you've seen since you retired from the sport? Uh, a lot more money. Do you think the division has improved or regressed since your retirement? Uh, definitely got worse. Definitely got worse. <laughs> <laughs> they can't live without you. We have some big breaking news. Brandon Jones, the nation's number one safety, he's headed to Texas. Coach James Franklin joining us on National Signing Day. Coach, let me just start off by wishing you a happy birthday. Hope you enjoyed your Tuesday. Now <laughs> National Signing Day is here. Those faxes are rolling in. What do you think of your class as a whole? Very impressive win for your team tonight. And you didn't play the whole game, but you still made a big impact. What was working out there for you tonight? Now at St. Thomas, you're always focused on the next opponent. So you guys are headed into playoffs. What do you think you guys need to do to stay focused and make a deep run? It's a big fight coming up. You're headlining UFC 201 July 30th in Atlanta. Robbie Lawler defending his title for the third time. Are you going to be the one that takes it away from him? For sure. The Nationals have suspended closer Jonathan Papelbon four games after he choked teammate Bryce Harper in the dugout of Sunday's loss. Yeah, maybe grabbing the throat of your team's best player, not such a great idea. Now Buffalo 0-2 on the season. How can Rex Ryan make it through the year in Buffalo? What an amazing tournament. I am here with the national championship UCF Knights. Very exciting win. Zach, you guys started out very strong. Didn't take your foot off the gas the entire time. How does it feel to be a national champion? Um, it's been awesome. It's an awesome feeling. And Coach, like he said, first time in this tournament here on your home field. How proud are you of your guys right now? Well, what's neat about this is I've known some of these guys since they were 14. They've grown up here playing paintball, and it's great to see them do well. Alongside Scott Kennedy, I'm Amy Campbell. Thanks for joining us at Scout Battleground. And Scott, we need to start with Ohio State, and we'll just touch on last week's loss to the Spartans. I think this changes everything. This team, in their first real test, really looked inept on offense. We'll head out to Columbus now, and we'll check in with our Ohio State insider, Blake Williams of Buckeye Sports. Blake, Michigan is on deck, but let's start with Ezekiel Elliott's post-game comments, the thing everyone's talking about after that Michigan State loss. Seems like an unraveling of togetherness. What is the attitude like in that locker room heading into the next matchup? Couple that with the fact that the, the Lions suck on defense. That's a strong word, Corey. I'm sorry. <laughs> they stink. <laughs> they stink, Amy. You're going to tell me I can't say No, but Amy, say, why are you know? turning around on me like that? That's not right. how it's supposed to be done, Amy. Oh, you can say it, but I can't say it. Okay, I get it. I'm learning. Welcome back to Signing Day Live on Scout and SI. I'm Amy Campbell here with Andy Staples and Scott Kennedy. And guys, we are still waiting with bated breath for the decision of Rashawn Gary, the nation's number one player. It won't be too much longer, but Deion Sanders also had a lot of good things to say about Levante Taylor at the Under Armour game. And speaking of Levante, we are joined by him right now via Skype. Levante, thanks so much for taking time for us on National Signing Day. I'm sure it's been a pretty exciting day for you. No drama. You've been a very solid seminal commit for a long time. But what did you do today? How did you celebrate? Stop me if you've heard this before. A stud running back committed to Alabama. Just what they need. Right. We're running backs. The cupboards are bare. We'll be back on Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern with Super Bowl champion Chris Canty. He'll react to all of the weekend's NFL action. You won't want to miss it. Until then, you can keep up with all the latest sports news on SI.com. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at SI Now Live. Have a great weekend.